I don't Purohit from Kuwait is asking, dear Acharya ji, as I went through your books and videos, I have come to a stage where I feel fear and tensions, but my mind comes to a still state. And then automatically I am able to come out of the fear and tensions. <clears throat> Is this normal? I don't, this is auspicious. This is auspicious. But stay careful. Hmm? Maya cannot be killed. She too is immortal. Peace requires constant protection. That which you get from God requires your total effort to be protected. It's a contradiction, but you must understand. You already get it from there and still you must keep working hard to retain it. You get it for free, but you must pay a heavy price to keep it. Do you understand this? It's like a product where the initial subscription is free. But month after month, you have to pay heavy installments. And the installments are ego. That's what you have to continuously keep paying in order to just retain what you got for free. So it's auspicious. It's wonderful if you are abiding in peace but don't neglect the EMIs otherwise the thing will be taken away keep paying the installments Parul is asking from Noida we attach by heart and we sometimes use our yukti, the tricky mind, to remain attached. I have found that heartful attachment leads to pain. How to get rid of this? Get rid of what? The attachment, the heart or the pain? Heartful attachment causes no pain in the heart. It causes pain to the mind. Heartful attachment means attachment with either the truth or the messenger of truth. The heart cannot get attached to anything else. The heart itself is a representative of the truth. It has been said that the heart itself is verily the truth. Therefore, the heart does not really like anyone or love anyone except either the formless truth or the formed representative of truth. But when the heart gets attached or devoted or surrendered to the truth, then it causes the mind to feel jealous. Because the mind was attached to many other things. And those other things that the mind was attached to had become the identity of the mind. And now something else, something far bigger is coming in. And all the little bits that were there that the mind called as itself, I am this. All those little bits are getting crowded out, displaced. So there is a lot of heartburn, ah, mind burn and jealousy. There is a lot of mind burn and jealousy. When God comes into your life, you will find that there is a lot of jealousy all around. The husband starts reaching, reading the scriptures. The wife says this is an illicit affair. You will be tried for adultery. 
I am your wife. How is it that you have fallen in love with the scripture or God or Guru? It happens. I routinely <coughs> face the wrath of angry wives. You have taken away our husband. Have I? <laughs> and mothers and fathers, there is a lot of jealousy. Because once you fall in love with that, then you cannot remain committed and devoted to nonsense. And it is not really then a choice that you make. Then you are powerless, helpless. Once you have seen the utter grandeur of truth, how will you now fall for worthless things? Therefore, truth is dangerous. The question is for whom? The truth is not dangerous for you. The truth is dangerous for your rubbish, which is good. Hmm? So, Parul, the pain that you are experiencing is being experienced by your misassociations. Right association in itself can never be the cause of suffering. But right association leads to a lot of disassociation as well. It is actually not even disassociation. Right association leads to a realignment of your associations. It is not as if you break your existing relationships. Rather, your existing relationships get aligned in the right direction. It is not as if you give up on your family or, or your work or something. It's just that now you align all of them with the truth. But this realignment will be resisted. Be prepared. One way to ease the whole process is to make it Inclusive. Include more and more people in it. Bring them together. So that when the change comes, it is a change welcomed by all. Otherwise, you will be a solitary crusader. And you will feel needless resistance. That which can be done easily, must be done easily. Because anyway there are lot of battles to face. Why then spend your energy in needless battles? Conserve your energy. It will be needed when the real battle arrives. Abhinav's question has already been answered. How to get rid of baggage of past and present life karmas? You don't need to get rid of anything. Just do what is right. <laughs>